the Brown Hydra and Daphnia Pulix from Carolina Biological Supply Company. Immediately when you receive your creatures, take off their lids to allow air exchange. When I first pulled them out, the ice packs were completely melted and the creatures all at the bottom. However, I understand this is usual and that you should just give them about 12 hours to recover. Mine recovered in a matter of minutes. The animals also came with this nice printed Carolina protozoa and invertebrates manual. And although it was extremely detailed about some parts, how to culture the hydra especially was very vague. Apparently, the hydra and daphnia cannot live in the same container because the daphnia food makes the water very cloudy and uh, the hydra need to live in very clean spring water. We didn't know exactly what to keep the creatures in, so we went to Walmart and found this one half gallon beta view with base for only $5. Uh, we need to get one for each creature because, of course, they cannot live in the same container. To get the Daphnia ready, I went ahead and poured in uh, spring water into the aquarium. Do not use distilled or tap water. To introduce the Daphnia into their new home, set the jar into the water. and then pour them out underwater. Do not pour them from above the water because this traps air in their exoskeletons, which causes them to float and kills them. Uh, introducing the Hydra to their home is more tricky than with the Daphnia. I went ahead and poured in the water as well. Use the pipette to gently suck in a dozen or so hydra. And use it to transfer them into their aquarium. Repeat it as many times as you need to, to get all the hydra.